Hello, it's AJ Red, and I'm back with another mock update. And it's this sort of dragon shrine which I built, and you can see just right here. This part is down here because I kind of want to show you how this all fits together. So technically, this sort of base part here, this is kind of kind of part here. There we go. It sort of just is a bunch of plates, multicolored plates, all fit together, and this is just. So this lighter green base plates just sort of lay snug in the middle. And yeah, and the dragon's off because I kind of just kind of just wanted to show that off just by itself. And I also wanted just to have the chance to show off this piece, which I'll move into the normal filming area. Okay, you notice I'm not actually like the camera is like moving because I'm using my hand to turn it. Hopefully it's not too shaky. And, because this is a big mock and using this tripod just isn't, doesn't give a wider angle. So, yeah. So this is, oh, I guess this piece is falling off. There we go. This little sort of shrine gazebo, I call it. <laughs> and even though it's not even a gazebo, not what it's supposed to be. Kind of looks like one though, but pretty cool I just wanted to, I couldn't really see this in the previous actual mock showcase I made of this and so you got this statue here and got this thing which I wanted to show really how I did that which is technically just one of these net pieces with a bunch of pieces fit together see these are loose and they sort of just fit using should get under view of that can't really but just uses one of these sort of weird one by ones of these things sticking out. I put I put two of these on it, and then there's a one by one stud, circle stud, and there's two on each side, and it fits one of these. And on the other side of these, there's one of these, which attaches, and they all sort of fit together. And gravity just keeps them together. They it is it looks very fragile, but it's pretty stable. The only thing that isn't really stable is the actual sort of spiraling things here Let's see they're kind of crooked because I they just it just like sort of fell apart before filming so I just fixed it quickly yeah you got this guy here he's just walking around with his golden key wow and there's these trees with the vines sticking out and we use these sort of turntable two by twos there and a pig yeah go cool. Retitch this. And it just fits on right perfectly right here. And you just right there retach it with those two tiles. And I just wanted to show the dragon quickly. You wanted to see that. So it just it's no different. The dragon's the exact same. I just wanted to show a quick sort of view of it. Yeah. There we go. I'll show it. Won't be posed or anything here. Maybe I'll repose the tail so it's not... Whoops. Hitting anything. Put it back on its totally not visible stand. Okay. Oh gosh. It's falling. Why isn't these studs sticking on? Here, I'll set the tripod down. You can have a view of the tree, which I changed a bit once I, while I fix this. There we go. Here's the dragon on the shrine mock itself. And that's why it's called Dragon Shrine. It's a big mock. And so here, I'll take this off. So in case of the coincidence that it falls over and knocks a tree down should be a disaster happened a few times so the big difference is the tree so I said in my sort of a pick a brick wall hall that rhymes uh, I got these pink sort of circle studs and I was not gonna tell why I got them and this is why I wanted to put sort of flower buds or fruit I don't know whatever you want to think of them on this tree, which I kind of changed up a bit, still has these sort of lantern strings hanging down. Yeah, and the samurai still there, has all the same minifigures. 
And also, I ordered some of these, so I added a bunch of these back, these, onto this mock. And up here, I put on the roof some of these to make the roof look nicer. And you can see the sensei meditating in there. I can use my iPod because it's small enough to sort of fit it under the roof and it whoops this piece is falling out and it sort of you can put a light in there and you just put on the light of the iPod but then I just tape a st orange stud over the light to sort of make a orange light lighting inside and it looks very really nice but maybe I'll show that off in another video so here's the roof the exact same except for those sort of cheese slopes and the inside is all the same Kind of hard to see because of the shadows. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll sort of just give a spin around of the mock. Let's put this back up there. There we go. Got all the same stuff down here. And let's spin it around. Still got these ninjas attacking. And It's a pretty nice mock, I think. It's probably the biggest one I made. If I didn't say that on my other one, I think I did. And got just one more foliage, which I added to the rocks. I added one here. There's still this little, little lake thing, which you've probably seen already. There's a window here. There's a ninja. Cut them off. There we go. And got some potions and just random maps and stuff up there. I don't know. And spin it around. On this side, you can see there's another window. Oh yeah, there's also these little knife pieces that I just added for detail. I don't know why, but it kind of looks cool from the top here. Just a little golden. Well, I don't know. And you got this ninja here that's also attacking. So let's knock that one off. Oh, yes. Rip. Not focusing, but yeah. Well, gosh. So there we go. Drop it in a tree, and it's just pretty much the same everywhere else, except for some more added details. Yeah, and wow, it's pretty good mock, I gotta say. But I'm not gonna brag, so put this guy back up there. There we go, and yeah. Sort of, sort of, uh, don't pay attention to that mess that is totally not there. Got this sort of little pool, I guess. Not really pool, sort of pond thing. And here's just a overview of it. Just to see it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the dragon. So, it's pretty much the entire... Well, I thought I almost knocked down the tree. And that's pretty much everything about the mock gear. Yeah. And this guy. And try to. If I don't destroy the mock beforehand. <laughs> and yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, goodbye.